All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to LA Noir. Welcome to the final case, the final part. We're gonna be going till the end here. I just wanna take a minute to thank you guys so much for the support. Do drop a like on this final part and uh, we're gonna have many more beautiful series to come. Uh, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, I've been it's loving be it, these but this is a different kind of war. The last case, Jack Kelso. I wonder, are we going to be playing as Jack Kelso and Cole Phelps maybe a little bit? That would be pretty cool if we play as both. I hope Kelso doesn't die, though. This is a bug sprayer. It must have worked at one of these joints. Okay. New location, Westlake Pest Control. New location, Nuclear Bug and Rodent Control. And new location, Rapid Exterminators. New POI, Arson Suspect. Should we not, um... Should we not contact Cole Phelps, maybe? Hey, here we are. Rapid exterminator is 2.44 p.m. Starting a bit late today. Do we have blood on our hands there? Yes, I'm pretty sure we have blood all over our hands. What is that about, guys? Help you? Yeah, you can help me. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. God you should damn. get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, there's a newspaper here. Right, I'm guessing there's gonna be a story behind this. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my oh, case. Oh shit. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! Jesus! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Shoot him, Phelps. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. God damn. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. That was fucking awesome. That was awesome. We're still mighty fucked up, though. What's well, like pest control? 2.51 p.m. Right. Anybody here? I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Okay. Let's, uh, let's find this motherfucker. I think Jack Kelso was onto something here. He's a good detective as well. Him and Cole Phelps would make great partners, huh? Dr. Fontaine's surgery yesterday. Oh. We're back yesterday as Phelps, I see. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. 
Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. God damn. Elsa's gone missing. Not good. Okay, what do we got in here? They took Elsa. God dang it. Okay. Take your time. He's dead. Give you well, he deserves to die. We got another newspaper. Let's check out this one. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso, who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. No longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. But you won't, though. You piece of shit. You get shot in the leg, son. All right. The face of progress. What do we got here? The doctor has been marking this map. Ah, black piece of paper. Blank piece of paper. We'll definitely get something on this. We got a map of some sort, is it? Yeah. What is that? Edward Grove. Edward Grove. McCarthy Vista, <clears throat> Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Um, well, I don't know. Guess there's a clue about it here. Ah. Oh. New houses all being built on the path of the freeway? Interesting, a freeway roof. Let's have a look at his body. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Fontaine deserved to die anyway. Piece of garbage. You killed our boy. You killed our, bo our boy, Courtney. I hate. Hmm. Alright, that seems to be it. What else do we got here? Oh, we got a signs of a struggle. Oh, here's something. I see. Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Of course he was. Liabilities. Speak to Curtis. Sawyer. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Hmm. Sawyer is the guy we're looking for. How's this? Okay, has blood on it. So much for your foresight, doctor. Yeah. Oh, this? Morphine? I see. Got more morphine. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Whoa, what the hell just happened there? You see the way we just came to whip back out? Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway. 
and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing. Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead, and Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Okay. Let's do it, baby. Let's get the cowboy. And finish this off once and for all. French bunkhouse today, 7 p.m. We Kelso again? Okay. We are. This looks creepy, man. This looks very, very creepy. I don't like this. I feel like Kelso might be in trouble here, guys. Come on, Kelso. You're going to be fine. Don't knock. Guess nobody's home. Oh, yeah, we're kicking the door in. Eh? Oh, we got a freaking flamethrower. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Yeah. Maybe because he was burning all those houses down? I don't know. Okay. Got anything else? What the fuck is this room? Holy shit. Okay. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Quite a flock you got here, kid. Origami train. Strange obsession. Ah, the blueprints. L.A. River tunnels. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Okay, so that's how he gets around. Anything else down here? Nope. Anything else we can... Oh, wait, there's something there. Oh, we got one here. If we can figure it out, maybe. Okay. Okay. Of course. A freaking course. Nothing else in here? Oh, yeah. It's all coming together now. The mosquito stuff. Okay, where's um, any other rooms? Are we missing anything here? Did I miss something? Oh, here's something. Is that Phelps in the middle? Look. Remember those faces. Yeah, that's Phelps. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Okay. Oh my God, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Oh, it's Ira? From the cutscenes? Oh shit. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the L.A. River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. Call Cole. Call Cole Phelps, please. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio yes. message for Detective Cole Phelps. Yes. Phelps and Kelso doing this together, baby. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, and I'll go three. The hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack K. 
Kelso, described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet line. License number 4, William, 0, 2, 8, 6. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. I picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. Gotta go help Jack. Oh shit. Let's go, baby. Come on. Gotta save Kelso. I have a feeling Kelso's in trouble, man. He might die. Let's get out of here. Boom! <laughs> Gotta love it, we absolutely mugged that fool off. <laughs> that guy was just shooting out there, that was weird. We're, we're a cop though, and we're actually ramming into other cops and taking other cops out. But they're dirty cops, so. Well, they might just be doing their job, who knows. Okay, we should, I'm assuming we should follow Kelso and not the other car. Well, we could have followed the other car too, because he's just coming down out here, I see. Nice, Kelso just took that guy out. Get wrecked! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! Okay, that guy's wheels are gone, so... He's dead. Kelso, yeah, so you're gonna be alright, bud. I got your back. I got your back big time. Awesome. Watch this. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome! Alright, looks like we killed Jesus Christ! How many cops do these guys own? A lot, apparently. Alright, where are we going, Chip Kelso? Tell me you have a backup plan. Or, uh, just a plan in general, rather. Jack Kelso always has something up his sleeve, though, doesn't he? Come on, Kelso. We lost them. I'm pretty sure we've lost them. Yes, we did. Let's go, dude. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail-safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it? Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? Ha <laughs> Peterson's earning his salt. Okay, so we're taking this entrance Kelso. We're playing as Kelso, sorry. I thought we were playing as well. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was Phelps for a second, but it's not Phelps. Everybody stay calm. How long do you think you can hold out? You're fucking cold. Boom, let's go. Okay. Roast it. Okay, we'll take that weapon. Wooden overcoats. He's there. He's there. Nah, that ain't me. Bro. Don't even worry about it. That's not me. 
Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Oh, is he dead or what? Okay, are we going in here? I don't even know where we're going, to be honest. Going deeper into the tunnel. Wait, is that an enemy? Christ! Fuck. Just missed. Well, I am confused. Oh shit, there's another one here. My dude, can you just back off a second? Keep on going, Jack. How's he still alive after that bullshit? He ain't alive after that. Let's go. Keep on going, Jack. You can go a little bit faster than this in the water. Come on, Christ. I looked dead to you, boy. Oh, wow. Got some nice new weapons in here, baby. Alright. We have a shotgun now. I'm pretty sure we have a double barrel shotgun. Bye bye. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Hey, you want to die, bud? Oh my god, there he is. Okay, how do we get into him? Okay, he's very dead. That guy just got lit up. Where is he? What am I supposed to go from here? All I have is a goddamn got shotgun. Got oh, here we go. Jesus, I didn't even see this. I was looking around for so long. All I had to do was go down to the end. I'm actually dumb as hell. How's he still alive? Huh? Boy? Oh shit, we got a flame through ourselves. No way. Okay, let's go, dude. Got a flamethrower of our own. Beautiful. Alright. I'm guessing we're gonna have a boss battle here. Oh shit. Where do I go? The water's rising. I don't know what to do. We gotta get to that ladder up there, I see. I see. We gotta get to the ladder over here. Oh, we have to go through these. I see, I see, I see. Hey, dude, do you mind? I'm not shooting at you until I get up, so if you could give me the same courtesy, I'd appreciate that. You could walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. It's his choice. See, we're even giving him a choice. That's the kind of guy Jack Kelso is. I'm right here, actually. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I can't actually run with this thing on. So we're gonna wait till we get our health back and we're gonna go ham. <laughs> Sick. That's dope. We're literally going so slow with this thing on. Oh, shit. Dude, come on. Be nice enough not to shoot me here. I'd appreciate it. God damn! Bye bye. Thanks for coming, sir. Appreciate that. You're dead now, though. Okay, where to? Where to? Where to? There we go. Come on, Kelso. You got him, son. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. 
You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And the hob? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Biggs will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Oh, God. Jack, no! Jack just shot him. Jesus, look at all the Stop kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm on a morphine. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! Damn, that's fucked, man. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Phelps to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. That is fucked up, man. Jesus Christ. He killed that man! He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this great Hurry, hurry! The water is rising! You're first! Hand her up! Get out of here! You're not here! I'm not arguing! You're wounded, Jack! Let me help! What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole! Jump for it! I... What the fuck? Phelps, you better be okay, son. Don't you dare tell me Cole Phelps just died. Don't you dare. He is dead, isn't he? Wow. Wow, dude. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Wow, really? Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor. 
and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Ryan, you belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who we'll recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. Shoot Roy Earl in the head, please, Jack Kelso. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend. Fuck Roy Earl. God damn. Is that really the end? Holy shit. What an ending. Cole Phelps just dies. Roy Earl's still there. He didn't take out down all of advice. I can't believe that, man. What a game, though, I have to say. From start to finish. The cases are so much fun. Even the ones that weren't that story-focused, just... Doing all of the cases was uh, so fun, uncovering the real killer and the bad guys in all of this. And then the story towards the end just really heated up, I thought it was awesome. Between Phelps, Kelso, Elsa, Roy Earl, uh, Biggs. You gotta love Biggs, man. Herschel is the man. Uh, but all of your partners like throughout kind of are different, but they're they're all awesome and vital to Cole Phelps' uh, character as well. And uh, I have to say, really enjoyed it. We give this game a 9 out of 10. And um, I really hope that we get a, a new one soon. A new L.A. Noir. I, well, I don't know what they'd call it, but uh, a sequel to this game would be awesome. It's been a long time coming, man. This game came out a long time ago now. Um, it would be awesome to see a sequel at some stage. Alright, so there is an after credit scene. I had to wait about 10 minutes through the credits because you can't skip them, though. Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps? He didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petalu and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. 
Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. Kelso just wrecked him. And that's the end of L.A. Noir. Thank you guys for watching, like I said. And I'll see you guys next time. I love Jack Kelso. I love Cole Phelps. They're both great. I wish we would have had them as partners at one point in this, but they were never friends, but they were never enemies, as Jack Kelso himself said. Signing off. See you next time.